PMs focus on the why and the what to build, mm -hmm. and then engineers and designers build figure it. out the how. PM 的薪水超级高。<laughs> PM 这个 title 在硅谷公司 very prestigious. Yeah. 可以揭露一下 PM 的 salary 到底是多少吗？就是。Kelly Channel， 我是 Kelly。今天我们频道有一个大来宾，就是 Chloe。那不认识 Chloe 的观众呢，我先来介绍一下。Chloe 之前是毕业于 Columbia 的 Engineering， 然后以前也在戏谷的科技业工作。他曾经在 Google、Meta、TikTok、Discord 这些非常知名的大公司，然后也曾经 listed on Forbes 30 Under 30。That's a very big accomplishment。然后 Chloe 现在呢，也是一个 Content Creator that shares her life in her 30s。我自己是一个。Big fan， 我就是从很早开始就在看你的 videos、oh,。但是我要先说，我的中文不完美。<笑> yeah， it's okay。我是 A B C。我的频道的观众应该也都很想学英文。我是从 Columbia 毕业，然后就参加 Google 当一个 Staffing Services Associate。所以像在 People Operations is like HR。Actually, you know, at Google, it takes three months on average、mm -hmm. to go from submitting an application、mm -hmm. to getting an offer,、oh. and three months is really long. Yeah,、like、that's very long. How long did it take you to get your current offer? At most, one month. Sometimes two yeah, weeks. Yeah,、like、Facebook is two weeks,、mm -hmm. but Google's three months.、Mm. So we have a whole operations team to figure out how to streamline that and make it faster. Because my background is in industrial engineering and、mm -hmm. operations research. I was really fun, but I felt like I was just so small.、Mm -hmm. Like I, my my work is just so tiny,、mm -hmm. and it wasn't learning fast enough. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to go hyper growth. I want to learn a lot. So then、mm -hmm. I started to interview again. Actually, I joined people operations because I thought I was a people person. Because、mm -hmm. like in my engineering school, yeah, relative to other people, <laughs> we're you like to、good. talk to people. Relative, right, yeah. But 我发现我在 people operations 全部都很会跟人沟通， mm -hmm. and I'm just like, wow, it's too、uh -huh. extroverted for me. <laughs> I realized I really miss problem solving and like working on my、mm -hmm. my my problem、mm -hmm. and breaking it down. So I studied for data science and business analyst roles,、mm -hmm. and then I got a lot of offers. Actually, one internally at Google、oh. for the team that does business analytics for the Pokemon Go team.、Mm -hmm. So then they go to Tokyo every year, and I was、wow. like, oh my god, oh yeah. <laughs> And then another one from an esports mobile gaming company,、mm -hmm. and then another one from a live streaming startup.、Mm -hmm. And then I ended up going with the startup. I want to see what else I can learn out there,、uh -huh. and I can always go back to Google、mm -hmm. if I wanted to. Yeah. So I joined the startup.、Uh -huh. It was crazy, craziest <laughs> years of my life,、uh -huh. in my career. Learned so much, built、mm -hmm. the craziest things. I was in Meta, Facebook, as a host of Facebook,、mm -hmm. in product operations. So it's like a, an adjacent role.、Mm -hmm. It's not the PM role, but、mm -hmm. it's the role that helps PMs.、Mm -hmm. So only. Only in bigger companies, usually、mm -hmm. product operations happens. So product operations is really、um, making sure that product quality is strong and high. At this point, you've already been in big companies and small companies. Have you ever felt like there's a difference between the two? Or like your preference? I mean, big is just very fast. Small companies have less resources, less teams, less leaders to work with. Nobody has time for you.、Mm -hmm. So. Depends on where, what you need in your career. At this point, I've been working on breaking into PM for two years,、mm -hmm. and then TikTok reached out because TikTok was hiring like crazy in the、oh, Bay. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then I became a senior product manager and product lead for Trust and Safety,、oh. combating bullying and harassment. So I owned that product area、mm -hmm. and、um, uh, working on TikTok Live comments. Wow, that's a super fun like. Area、oh, too.、Yeah. So、mm. this is the first, just is officially title is PM the job.、Mm, and after you got this, like, how did you like PMing? I loved it. I really liked it. But it was very tiring. Many meetings. Actually, I think talking to people would be harder than coding. So I think if my job is for a whole day, I have to talk to people for a whole day, I will be so drained. It's very draining.、Day. You、yeah. have to know how to like speak fast and speak succinctly and get to the point.、Mm -hmm. But it's a good skill set. Yeah. Yeah, definitely.、Mm -hmm. Then that time, Discord reached out to me. Their previous director of product for communities reached out and wanted to hire me to be、mm. the product lead for communities engagement.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Then I joined. I interviewed.、Mm -hmm. I got other offers too at the time,、mm -hmm. and I joined Discord, and it was awesome. I loved、mm -hmm. it. I worked on community engagement features. 听起来就是你一开始 study 的东西跟你刚毕业出来最前面的那段 career 其实跟产品是比较没有关系的。Mm -hmm. 那你为什么会 choose to like go and To product, 然后你真的进去之后跟你想象的一样吗？还是说有很多 like surprising things that you didn't know until you got in? Yeah, there's a lot of surprises. Very <laughs> 惊喜 First one is really delivering to the customers.、Mm -hmm. 
But also, 我发现 PM 的薪水超级高。<laughs> PM 这个 title 在硅谷公司 very prestigious. Yeah.、Mm. PMs focus on the why and the what to build,、mm-hmm. and then engineers and designers、build、figure、it. out the how. How、yeah. do how do you build it? Let's build it now. Yeah. And turns out, figuring out why、mm-hmm. is a really hard thing to do,、mm-hmm. and then figuring out what is very hard too. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's it is the superpower of PMs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, many very very famous the CEOs they all they all had product backgrounds like、mm-hmm. Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook,、mm-hmm. Sundar Pichai from Google, and Steve Jobs from Apple.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's really helpful. Okay, 那下一个帮观众问一个 very spicy question. 可以揭露一下 PM 的 salary 到底是多少吗 As a senior PM, the Fang standard is that you can make around four hundred to four hundred fifty thousand dollars. That is 超过一千万台币，就是一千两百到一千五百万。而且我有朋友在 Facebook Meta 六十五万美金。That's almost 两千万台币。Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, very crazy. I think my starting salary was 十八万。Oh wow! And that was your first PM job. Yeah, that was just base salary. You know,、mm, equity、yeah. is a big part of it. And then we have sign-on bonus.、Mm-hmm. And there's performance bonus. So that was a starting offer. That's a wool negotiated really hard. And then I got a final total compensation for the first year at two hundred seventy nine thousand dollars. 大概九百万台币 Yeah. And then at Discord, I I negotiated a lot, and then、mm-hmm. ended up with two hundred fifteen thousand for the base.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a thirty five k increase. Wow. Yeah. And then、um, sign on bonus is fifty thousand dollars. The equity I can't really say because it's a private company、mm-hmm. and we don't know yet.、Mm-hmm. But it was in the multi six figures.、Mm-hmm. Discord is a 还没上市的公司，所以你拿它的股票其实有点像一个赌注，就是你赌它会上市。然后通常小公司上市的时候，就是股票可能之后会翻很多倍，所以你的薪水可能就会一下子涨很高。If like this company does yeah, really yeah. well. 我刚才讲到就是 negotiation 是一个 big part. When you're like signing an offer, because it can have a very big impact on you. The end result of getting your salary is how much. Do you have any tips for like negotiating your salary?、Mm-hmm. Every offer they they will look, go the lowest and see if you push it. That's、mm-hmm. it. So actually, I have a mentor. He helped me. He helped coach me throughout the negotiation process to tell me what to do. And he told me to read the book "Never Split the Difference" by Chris Voss. I did summarize everything in a YouTube video that. We'll link down below. Yeah. Oh my God. Go watch that video. Yeah. But you 刚才提到你的 mentor coach you throughout the process.、Mm-hmm. No. Like, how did you find your mentor? Because I feel like a lot of people, especially like early in their career, how many are need a guidance, but they don't know where to find that. Yeah, it's a very hot one to you. You have to be working on something for your mentor to help you with. You can't just be like, hey, can you be my mentor for what?、Oh, yeah, you have to be、yeah. very specific with your ask. Another thing is getting a mentor is really hard, but it doesn't have to be like an executive. It can literally be a peer that you have, or someone who's just a few steps ahead of you, because advice is autobiographical. And sometimes people who just went through it are the best people、yeah. to ask advice from because they like they have all the memory and fresh in their head.、Mm-hmm. And then the next thing is, if you don't find a mentor within your network or your company, you can join structured mentorship programs.、Mm-hmm. There is a statistic that women who are in structured mentorship programs, like formal programs, are 50% more likely to get promoted than those who don't. Oh, so wow! So pretty big. <laughs> Lastly, is on the point of you can't just ask someone to be a mentor. The way that I do it is I build a warm relationship with people I find super badass. I think that's when you can have a conversation, become more tactical,、yeah. and that's when the mentorship happens. Yeah. So another big thing that I saw, 就是你在你的 channel 有 share 过的是你前阵子有 go through 一个 big Discord layoff.、Mm-hmm. So, how was that experience like? Then, you, in that, you, you, how do you like mentally go through that? Yeah, I did see it coming. In the Xigu company, going through layoffs is very, very common. In、mm-hmm. fact, but the experience was fascinating. Also, opened a lot of new doors for me, like a lot of new job opportunities, new companies,、mm-hmm. new projects.、Uh-huh. If I never had that experience. I would have stayed in Discord. I would have stayed in Discord for、mm. forever if I could.、Mm-hmm. I feel life gave me a new path,、mm-hmm. and I'm super excited. So, just like you just mentioned, one of the doors that opened is you are now in the business world as a teacher, teaching a product thinking class that teaches you about product thinking, product management, how to level up your tech career.、Mm-hmm. So, first off, congratulations、Thank、on the project.、Um, do you want to tell us about how that happened? And what this project is about—such a unique experience. 
I had so many people work on this, probably like seven. We worked together so hard on this uh -huh. and I'm so proud of it. Uh -huh. It's like so well crafted for Taiwan audience. Mm -hmm. What can we expect to um, learn in the course? There's actually four key components to it. This is holistic thinking, mm -hmm. big picture thinking. You learn how to take a step back, see everything, see the business from a bird's eye mm -hmm. perspective and understand the through line and the why. Is this thing driving impact? Do we even need to do this thing? Mm -hmm. Is this thing going to move the needle on our our business goals mm. so that's the first one the second one is user-centric approach because mm. i said before that pms really understand their customers understanding your customer helps in any job the superpower of pms is user empathy and translating user insights to business strategy the mm. yeah. is problem solving is elevators mm -hmm. like maybe your boss tells you hey the elevator is too slow Mm. And then if you think that's the problem, then you might work on how do you make the elevator faster. Yeah. But if you really think about, is that the real problem? Maybe the real problem is that your customers feel like it's slow. Oh. Like the wait time is too long, mm -hmm. but you don't have to make the elevator faster. Maybe you can add mirrors or add music or add mm. like a little iPad for people to play with. Mm. So it doesn't feel long. And that's much more low cost. Mm -hmm. Than making an elevator faster. Oh, yeah. yeah, it takes so much time. You can work on that all year. And the third is data driven decision making. Mm -hmm. Because you have your opinion, I have my opinion. If we disagree, then the thing that helps us align is data. data. So, how do you use data? How do you use A B experimentation to drive decisions? Like Facebook, Instagram shopping, Figma, Netflix, Shopify. Mm -hmm. Pinterest都有。如果你也有興趣想要take這個課的話,現在這個課在pre-launch,就是募資的階段,現在非常的優惠,是like四五折的價錢,所以actually優惠了超級多,你之後如果猶豫的話, prices will only go up. So if you're interested,現在就可以購買,然後我也有code for you guys,是Kelly300,就可以折300元。那今天非常謝謝Chloe來我的頻道分享這麼多,我覺得so yeah. many helpful tips。如果你喜歡這個影片的話, 記得按讚、訂閱、分享，然後可以點開資訊欄去看看Chloe的頻道。那我們就下次影片再見喽，拜拜。Bye bye. Bye bye.